Hello there, I'm Christy Glasgow, Anaria Zarel, recording my May 1st cosplay all-star competition check-in video. So it's been a bit of a interesting last couple of weeks since I recorded my last check-in video. Um, the first two weeks of April I was overseas, um, so I was not able to do much in the way of cosplay planning or prep or research or anything like that. It was a good trip, pretty exhausting. Um, but I was keen to get back in into sort of cosplay mode when I got back. Um, I recently attended Armageddon, Wellington and Christchurch. Uh, so that took a little bit of time taking my weekends out as well. And in between those, you know, as life tends to do, throws you another curveball just to be extra annoying. Um, our family car decided to die on us. So that's been a source of stress and a lot of sort of just mental energy and actual, you know, time and energy uh, trying to solve that issue. And uh, unfortunately, we're having to replace it. So that has been sort of a time sink and a financial sink for us. Um, so I haven't been able to buy as many supplies as I wanted with both a international long haul trip to London and having to replace the family car. Um, so I've got a few supplies on their way and the others have unfortunately had to wait. I have been trying to keep as busy as I can with the research component. I have decided during some of my tests that I'm going to be making the majority of my armor plates out of a foam. This is a material I haven't worked with before, but I know it is popular. I primarily chose it because of the weight factor. Um, and I thought it'd be interesting to try something that I haven't ever worked with before. I want to make uh, more progress on the staff. I've been gathering the materials. I have decided that I want to try and make the orb component of the staff myself. I have a little bit of experience with vac forming clear material. These are sort of the light shapes from the Queen Amidala throne room invasion gown that I've been working on forever. Um, I made a mold and we vac formed these so that they have this sort of fun shape and everything like that. So I've still got some of this material lying around so I want to use this to create the red orb from the staff um, so that maybe I can put some effects in behind it. I want it to be see-through because um, I think that that would be cool. Um, and I've got the, the plastic and some of the staff. Um, one of the components that I'm waiting to arrive is I was trying to figure out how I want the staff to break down uh, because it is too long. I want to make it adaptable so that I have a con safe uh, weapon that matches the rules under two meters and then a full length one that I can use in photo shoots and stuff like that. And testing a few ideas, I have decided to go with what is essentially a pull cue adapter. Um, that you can buy online and of course those things take time so I'm waiting for that one to arrive as well. I have some boots on the way and uh, some wefts that I'm going to put into the hair piece as well. I have been doing um, as much sort of I mean as much as I can without a car uh, doing some local research um, you know I'm trying to dive into foam armor I've been doing as much research as I can um, and you know going to uh, spotlight and checking out some of the cosplay foam that they have there I know there are probably cheaper options but at least it's somewhere where I know I can go and get a feel for the material before I end up buying like you know a carload of this stuff to do it so I was checking out the different thicknesses, the textures and things like that. The other thing that uh, I'm still umming and ahhing about is the uh, pleather. Uh, my local spotlight has a number of different options. I you know, did some videos uh, talking about the uh, the different types of pleather material that, that, are, that are there, you know, some with stretch, some without, uh, the different sort of thicknesses and things like that. I'm still wanting to use pleather for the cape. I think it will give a sort of a fun dragon effect rather than a satin or something else. Um, and I kind of want it to feel heavy. Um, and I've been toying with the idea of covering the foam armor with pleather to carry on that uh, sort of dragon animal sort of texture um, on the armor as well. I know she's got a bit of shine with the gold, but I think it could be a really fun texture. And to be honest, because I'm you know new to foam armor, I'm not entirely sure of my ability to get a really perfect finish on that many pieces of armor plating. I think pleather might be sort of a good balance between the two, making it not to look too much like foam armor and 
and you know sort of keeping the structure and keeping the textures and things like that and for the gold plates I'm still on the fence as to whether I want to get those sort of gold metal scales that you can get and the sort of the, the uh, scale mail and do those or whether I just kind of dive in whole hog and make the scales out of foam myself um, so that they don't have quite a if I'm going with a bit of a pleather look um, and a slightly more organic dragon style to her armor perhaps I don't want to go so metallic with some of the accents perhaps perhaps the texture of foam would give it a slightly more organic feel more almost almost like sort of like dragon scales but a softer texture to it a bit more like lizard or or like a crocodile or something like that so those are the main things that I have been working on um, I know I'm supposed to talk about something interesting positive surprising negative unfortunately this month has just been a lot of negatives for me um, the stress of a few factors has uh, caused a health flare-up for me so that's not been fun um, and yeah I'm just running into just a few uh, roadblocks here which is just uh, hasn't been fun um, still very keen and very much excited by this project but it's just annoying when life keeps throwing you these things especially since I was a little bit slow to start off with um, I've got been cutting down like an, a ton of shipping boxes so that I've got a lot of cardboard to really start templating all up all my armor pieces um, but just with the stress of the last two weeks after getting back from London I haven't had the time to sit down and do that so that is my next project um, of course as a Star Wars fan um, May the 4th in just a couple of days is going to be a big day for me that one's going to be sort of blocked out um, but I am very cool uh, to get stuck into this I do have some uh, Wonderflex that um, I'm keen to try I'm not quite sure how but it is a material that I've been really fascinated with and I really want to perhaps incorporate that in some way and I am still uh, experimenting with a few things on how to do the headdress there is a lot of sculpting in this piece and I'm not exactly 100% sure I've got um, a little bit of experience with sculpting um, but I'm just not sure on the right medium for that yet I've got to sit down um, and again this comes down to just basically being able to get to the store uh, you know buy supplies and things like that so unfortunately with a few hurdles in my way I haven't been able to buy as many of these supplies as I want um, but hopefully next month things will be better for me um, I'm just very very excited to actually see some of these pieces take shape in physical form and actually start to see some progress uh, moving along there I've been just doing a lot of a lot of research I'm one of these people that plans like over and over and over before I start cutting into fabric and actually start working with my hands um, and unfortunately this makes me look really slow when it comes to cosplay and then it's all like a flurry in those last couple of months so I am fortunately that's about as much as I've got uh, to sort of show you most of my stuff is research based unfortunately at this at this uh, spot um, I had th thought about uh, perhaps experimenting with the transparent warbler for the heat form but I'm gonna go with something I'm a little bit more familiar with and I actually still have some of the um, some of that plastic lying around so that's that's you know more affordable and using um, stuff that's on hand is good um, I'm sorry you can probably tell from my voice I am not feeling well <laughs> I'm still dealing with that health flare-up um, and yeah I'm waiting for my boots to arrive I I'm just I'm one of those people that I really enjoy buying cosplay shoes I probably have way too many from all my different um, all my different costumes and things like that I really enjoy the footwear aspect of things um, she has fabulous knee-high boots so I'm really looking forward to getting that structure and then I can build it up I didn't want to jump in too much because the heel height is really important I want to see how that works um, with the shape and just sort of work from there and I decided to go with the really long hair from the original artwork in terms of the wig pieces um, the mini has short hair but I think that's more of a sculpting design I am trying to source the mini um, so that I can actually have the little figure I know it's really small but it is a 3d representation of the figure um, but it's proven to be very expensive to source of course as it would be this is tiny little figure that if it wasn't a promo it'd be like five ten dollars but because it's an exclusive promo 
summer she's going for like more than 100 so um, unfortunately cosplay supplies are taking um, the bulk of the spending money at the moment so uh, I'm gonna have to keep looking for that one online maybe I can find a, a good score deal but yes, after uh, seeing all the fabulous cosplays at Wellington and Christchurch, I'm very keen uh, to have something cool to show you guys very, very soon. So uh, I'm hoping to have a staff to show you guys next next video. Um, so uh, get to get stuck into it and get building. <laughs>